Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So I have talked about the core and my favorite ways to train it so many times on my channel. But today we are putting all of that knowledge to the test when I tried out four different YouTubers core workouts this past month. So I'm gonna take you through all four workouts, give you my honest thoughts, and then I'm gonna give you a very arbitrary ranking from scale of one to 10 because everyone seems to like that. Now always keep in mind that this is not a comment on the creator's entire body of work. It is simply on this one teeny tiny workout that I've done from them. Also the look today is sponsored by I just went to the gym and then taught a bar class but the video today is sponsored by Gainful. So I've actually worked with Gainful before. I love what this company stands for and it is personalized nutrition. So ideally post-workout, you wanna replenish your hydration, your carbs, and your protein. Hydration is obvious. You were sweating during your workout, so you wanna replenish that. As far as carbs go, carbs are gonna be your main source of energy within the body. So if you just used up a bunch of energy during your workout, you wanna make sure that you can replenish it. And then protein is gonna be really important post-workout because it is gonna help with muscle growth as well as just overall muscle repair. And like I said, one of the reasons I love Gainful is because of the personalization factor. To get your own custom made protein powder, all you have to do is go onto their website, take a quick quiz, and it'll match you with the perfect products. Now I also love Gainful's protein powder because it is unflavored. So it gives me a lot of options for whatever I'm feeling that day. You can see today with my cold brew, I added in the protein powder and some sea salt caramel. I also love the cinnamon toast flavor and they have a lot of other really unique flavors on their site as well. And if you don't wanna add in any flavoring sticks, you can easily add this into smoothies, you can add into oatmeal, baking. So you have a lot of versatility with this protein. Now Gainful has a lot of other products besides protein powder. They also have pre-workouts, they have collagen, they have hydration packs. So if you'd like to try Gainful, you can get 40% off your first month by using the link in the description box below. So as I finish drinking up my protein, let's talk about these workouts. first core workout of this video. We are gonna start out strong with Charlie Atkins. So Charlie, I've done an entire review video on her before. She has her own app, La Sweat, but she does have a lot of free workouts on YouTube. And we're gonna do one from Pop Sugar Fitness. So this is a 20 minute body weight core strength workout with Charlie Atkins. Yes, I am getting off being sick. No, it is not the illness, but we're gonna push through it. All right. Let's go, Charlie. I mean, we all know that I love Charlie at this point, but this workout started and I legit was like, this is very similar to my workouts. But I actually think a lot of that is due to a certification that we both have, so that makes sense why I also really enjoy her stuff. Now, we had a nice, quick, but effective warm up, and then we jumped into the bulk of the work. The format was three circuits done twice through. Each circuit had three to four exercises and challenged the core in different ways. Now, something I'm looking for in these workouts is how well they train the core as a whole. When we think of traditional core training, we typically think about crunch type motions, but we can train the core in so many other ways. Rotation, anti-rotation, anti-flexion, anti-extension, anti-lateral flexion, you get the idea. So while doing this workout, I was looking to see if we worked the core in all directions. And safe to say, Charlie implemented that throughout. We even got some standing work in there to use the core as a support through full body movement patterns like squats and lunges. Overall, I really loved this workout. It was short, sweet, simple, but definitely effective. And I think it would be a great one to implement if you consider yourself more of a beginner to working out because Charlie gives really excellent cues and explains the why behind every exercise. So my totally random scoring system is gonna give this a 9.5 out of 10. Hello everybody. We're going on vacation this weekend, like for a whole week, but starting this weekend. So I feel like I have a little bit of senioritis, but today we're doing a core workout from Emmy Wong. I've actually never done one of her workouts before. I'm trying not to go in with any preconceived notions because I know who she is and I don't agree with a lot of her clickbait. I don't agree with a lot of her videos that she puts out. And after searching online, I haven't been able to find any type of certification or qualification or education that she actually has in fitness. It seems like a lot of it is really just anecdotal experience, but obviously she has a huge following. And if she is actually motivating people to get up and move, then that is what really matters. That being said, we're gonna do one of her core workouts today. I specifically, with all of these workouts, made sure to choose things that say core, not abs in the title. It might say like core and abs, but just remember guys that your core is much more than just your abdominals. It's gonna be like 
20 something different muscles. I just kind of made that number up. I can't really remember what the number is, but if you think of it simply, if you were to cut off your head, your arms, and your legs, everything that remains is your core. So your entire trunk from front to back. So it's going to be a lot more muscles than just the abdominals. So I'm looking for workouts that train more than just the abdominals. So, um, it's a quick one. I think it's all mat work. Um, let's go. Okay. I don't want to be too mean but this workout is really not good by my standards. There's no strategy, there's way too many planks in a row for your core to even stay engaged, and it's just really clear to me that Emmy picked random exercises to string together. And don't get me wrong, you can do that, but there are much better uses of your time. I actually wanna show you a few of the exercises that I straight up dislike and explain why. First is hip dips. So these put a lot of rotation in the lumbar spine or your low back, and the low back is not meant to to be super mobile. So I never program these because I just don't find that the risk is worth the reward. Then we get into the boat hold with the leg drops and it's just too many things going on. You've got to sit upright. People are going to complain about their hip flexors the whole time. Most people can't even sit upright. So they're going to compensate with a lot of low back movement in this position. So I just modified it to some good old fashioned marches. Just because Pilates exercises are simple, it doesn't mean that they're bad. Remember that the simple stuff is actually often more effective than the crazy stuff. <laughs> Then we have the sitting leg lift, and honestly, this is this is just all hip flexor. And while there is a time and a place to train the hip flexors, I, I just don't think that this is one of them. Also, the posture here was making me cringe. <laughs> and then finally, the most terrifying hip drop I have ever seen in my life. Look at her low back. Guys, this just is not worth the risk. And also, what is this doing? Yeah, I, I showed another option in here that I love for training the obliques because you get anti-rotation and rotation in this one movement. Overall, I just really disliked this workout. It hurt my wrists, my low back was very nervous. So I'm gonna give this a three out of 10. Happy freaking Friday. We're going on vacation on Sunday. So I've had senioritis for the last week. Did I already say this on Wednesday? <laughs> All right, we're doing a Pamela, I don't know how to pronounce it, Reif, Reef. So I've done a few of Pamela's abdominal workouts before. I specifically wanted to try one of hers that does not say it's an ab workout. So this is an eight minute core skills. So we're gonna see what this eight minutes is about. Again, I'm looking for videos that train the core a little more functionally and not just like that. So let's see if it is. Let's go. So the structure of this workout was no repeats, 30 seconds in each exercise with no rest. I definitely took issue with a handful of the exercises, but I just modified as I went. There were a few like the up down mountain climbers that they were just stupid. I mean, why, why would we need to do that? It just, some of these exercises just look like a party trick. It's like cool that you can do it, but it's just so inefficient. Anyway, overall, I definitely got in a really good abdominal burn, but these exercises seemed really random. We also spent a ton of time in plank, which makes it incredibly difficult to actually keep the core activated. That's probably why Pam's form suffered in a lot of the planks with her booty kind of hiked up. Honestly, just no one's core can stay on for that long. If I was programming this workout, I would have alternated a plank exercise and a supine core exercise, and then just given 10 to 15 seconds as a transition time. I think that strategy would have given this a little more structure and help people stay on the core longer and out of the low back. So if you're looking for a good core mat workout, I probably wouldn't recommend this one. There's just a few too many programming and exercise selection errors. So overall, I'm gonna give this workout a four out of 10. Bone, got a couple cracks on it. Oh, well. Hello, last core workout of this video. So we're gonna do a workout from Gains by Brains. Is that what it is? Bains by, no, not Bains. I was born in the dark. So Gains by Brains, also known as Sophie, I have been recommended to try her workouts a lot of different times, and we're gonna jump in with this nice little 10 minute core and arms workout. Now, I really don't know anything about her, so I went to her website, and really what I'm looking for on her about page is if she's certified. And while I do love her little spiel, 
I don't see anything about any certifications, which for most people, that just means that they don't have them. You can absolutely still write a great workout if you're not certified in something, but that is something that I'm looking for, especially when I'm looking at core specific workouts, because I do find that people without certifications are the ones to kind of misinterpret and misunderstand what the core is going to do for you functionally and the best ways to train it. But I don't wanna make an opinion until I try this workout. And keep in mind, this is one workout out of an entire body of work. So it's gonna be difficult for me to make a like full well-rounded decision based off of this one 10 minute workout. Also, it was 70 degrees yesterday. Now it's 30, I'm freezing. We can't control the heat in our apartment because New York City things and the heat ain't on. So we're gonna be working out this sweatshirt. <laughs> Okay, let's go. So the structure here was 45 seconds in each exercise, no repeats and no rest. I actually didn't mind the fact that there were no repeats because this was a very traditional mat workout and I actually kind of prefer that here. I like the structure, but I definitely would have preferred to have 10 to 15 seconds transition time because I was consistently missing that much time in the actual exercise anyway, just transitioning naturally. Now this exercise programming was actually quite smart and it was the thing that I I missed from Pam and Emmy's workout. Sophie kept alternating between plank and supine exercises, or she'd go from like reverse plank to forearm plank. So essentially she really put thought into what muscles or joints would need recovery so you could get the most out of the workout. Now, I also loved her exercise selections in general. She had pretty basic things, but then would add like a fun little twist onto it. I definitely want to try out more of her workouts in the future, so let me know down in the comments which ones you would recommend if you're a fan. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed this workout, and I would do it again. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I feel like I haven't been this critical in a while in terms of like, YouTuber workouts. And let me just quickly explain why. There is so much misinformation and misunderstanding and lack of education around core training. And I'm not saying that my way is the only way to do it, but it does kind of seem to be a theme that the people who don't have a single certification have the workouts that overuse the hip flexors, put a lot of pressure on the lumbar spine and the cervical spine, and really only train the core in this way of flexion. When your core and your spine moves in so many other ways. It's something I'm very passionate about, which is why I got a little critical more than usual in this video, but hopefully we're all still happy by the end. Now throughout the commentary, I was dropping a lot of like technical terms and, and big broader concepts that maybe you don't understand. So if you don't understand one, drop it below. I either have a video about it or I will explain it in the comments. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos and I will see you in the next one.